If you've played medium before, you might be familiar with the feeling of getting showered in so many items that your screen feels more crowded than a shopping mall on Black Friday. And if that happens for too long, you might start to ignore those drops and you might even miss one of those rare items which enables your build and you've been grinding for it in the past 10 hours. That might have happened to me too, but how would I know if I've, I've, I've probably missed it? To fix both those issues with style, I present to you D2 stats. .exe. Leave a download link in the description as one of the official forums is missing a few features this version has, but we'll get to those later. Since the program has uses other than just a loot filter or loot notifier, let's quickly go over them so we can focus on the good stuff. The first thing you'll see is two pages of character information. Once you're in game, you can press the read button to display your stats like base and percent attributes, all speeds, etc. But it's either already in the game or obsolete, like the veteran tokens, which were removed a long time ago. In the options menu, you can enable things like slash no pickup and continuous attack by just pressing right or left click, which are really useful quality of life features. Here is where you can also enable the notifier, which is why we are here. So. Let's just get to that. This program uses reject scripts to match items on the ground against your filter or notifier. You can write unique, for example, and the notifier will make a message every time a unique item drops. This is based on one of the item's properties, such as being unique, but you can do the same for tiers from 1 to 4 and sacred, the item being superior or ethereal, normal, magic, rare, or set rarity as well. But one of the most used one is the name of the item. By typing gauntlets, you will be notified every time an item with gauntlets in the name drops. You can combine this by the properties we talked about earlier and try this, for example. This will only tell you when an item with gauntlets in the name drops, but only if it's superior and sacred at the same time. I feel like you are starting to get the gist of it, but with just this script, both of these items will appear at the same time but you'll probably only want the second one for its higher base defense and not the first one. To make that happen, just add this symbol to the script. Now it'll only show items which have gauntlets in the beginning of the name. There are a bunch more ways to specify what and what not to notify you for, so in case you want to highly customize your filter, you can find a link to a regex cheat sheet with all the symbols and their explanations. And now we are getting to the extra features I've mentioned earlier. In this version, you can also display both name and stats for the item. These can both save you picking up items you don't need. For example, displaying stats for superior sacred boots can save you time by only picking up 35 or 40% movement speed ones instead of checking every single pair. By clicking the new button, you can make multiple filters and load them depending on what you're farming. Instead of manually editing it every time you either farm different zones or for example level a new character. The base filter is very useful on its own, but I will leave a link in the description to Fuppy's filter which lists a powerful class specific bases, hides items you almost never need, and highlights useful items such as oils, quest items and more. This newer version is only usable in the 2.0 plus patches of Median, but some older versions work with both vanilla Diablo 2 as well as mods rent from for example D2SE. Links in the description for it as well. And that was the quick guide for one of Median X's most useful tool, the D2 stats. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or in my Discord, which you can find under the video. If you'd like to support the channel, subscribe or become a member so I can make these videos way more easily. Thank you for watching and until the next one, see you later. Bye!